Hello soulmates, welcome to the Honest Fashion Academy. My name is Justice. So for us to make those beautiful skirts you saw on the thumbnail, I'm going to have my basic skirt pattern opened up wide, not half pattern, the full pattern for the front skirt, okay? So I'm going to mark where my dart is for one part of it. I'm going to mark where the dart is and then rule it up straight down. That is where I will be cutting out. Okay, this is by the left hand side. So I'm going to be cutting that out. We're making the skirt you saw on the thumbnail. So after cutting it out, I'll keep that aside and then we'll proceed to slashing the other part of it which has the drapes and that is this part that you're seeing now so we're going to slash it based on how much drape you want or how uh, le the length of the drape that you want we're going to slash from one big side to the end of the other side you not you don't have to um, slash it to the end of the skirt because the drip did not get to the end of the drip of the skirt rather i hope you understand what i'm talking about okay just watch the video while i explain the much i can okay so we're slashing the skirt from the other side from the side of the skirt which is going to be joined to the back side right so after slashing, we're going to open it up. Depending on how wide you want the drapes to be, you open it up either by one inch, one and a half inch, or thereabouts. So after slashing, we're going to put paper under to trace out our new pattern. So I'm just masking it down so that it doesn't shift while I trace out what I have now. So I'm going to use a pen to trace it out as you can see in the video. Use a pen whatever to trace it out or use your scissors to cut out the new shape which is going to be fit into the other parts of the skirts. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here with me. We we'll promise to make it um, a great ride. So we're still going to fit our skirts normally the way it is. So it's back, but that to be later. So now for the ruffle that is in front of the skirt, we're just going to measure the length of the skirt we have and then use it to cut a strap the same length as you can see use it to cut a strap and then we're going to slash the strap we're going to slash the strap to produce a circle flay which is going to be fit into the skirt in between the two patterns So you get your scissors and slash it open but don't cut through don't cut it out entirely so once that is done a paper is underneath and we're um, spreading it open to form a 360 degree flay there you pin it down and trace every other part out as we're going to see in the video. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. I will attend to it. If you find this video useful, please kindly give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. If you have, thank you so much. Share the video so that others would learn also. So we're going to be tracing it out this way. So 
So after stressing it out, we are going to cut it out. We have more interesting videos in the channel. Please do well to see them as we continue to bring you more interesting videos. So this is what we have. We're going to slash one part open and cut out this um, circumference at the center. So even if you remove the slashed papers, you still know where to cut out your circumference. The making of this skirt is quite easy if you understand the principle of slash and spread. So this is just going to be in between the two um, skirt patterns. So we can now remove this. Of course, this is a paper, so it will be difficult to make it align together. And so I'm going to squeeze it kind of so that it will be free or easy to be fixed in between the two patterns. So if you have your fabric, this is how you're going to be fitting it in between. So like I said before, I'm going to ruffle this so that it will be easy for me to fit it inside. Remember, we are not yet done with the other side of the skirt pattern. The slashed and spread area, we are not yet done with it. So now it's easy for us to fit, to fix it in between. So this is what we have here. So by the time we hold the other part, it's going to be straight and then we we'll sew everything together from behind. So on this part, we're just going to put them together. Remember, we've not removed the slashed paper, so we'll know where to pin the slashed area and this is what we are going to have when we finally sew them together. Does this video make any sense to you? I hope so. Please kindly give it a thumbs, nail, a, a, a thumbs up. <laughs> I said thumbnail. Share it, like it, subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. The back side of the skirt is just normal. Thank you.